As civilians are urged to leave Gaza, Israel says it's beginning to strike parts of a secret tunnel system built under the strip by Hamas. To understand more about this type of warfare, we welcome Dr. Daphne Richmond Barak, associate professor at Reichman University. She's also an adjunct scholar at the Modern War Institute at West Point. Daphne, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you first explain to our viewers why Hamas initially built this underground tunnel system? Sure. Um, Hamas is a terrorist organization that has chosen deliberately to build its entire military infrastructure underground, beneath a city, uh, beneath many several cities where civilians live and civilian homes are built and schools and mosques uh, are built. And within this underground infrastructure, Hamas houses everything that you would expect the military to, uh, to have, weapons, command and control centers, rocket launchers, its military leaders um, are also, uh, for the most part, spending their time underground. You know, the other side doesn't have this kind of knowledge or capability, and therefore they are at a disadvantage. And you talk about those disadvantages, and I imagine that that is further complicated by the potential presence for hostages in these tunnel systems. Absolutely. Look, it's always very, very difficult to contend with subterranean threats. So the main issue that Israel faces is actually not the hostages. It's the combination of this urban terrain and this subterranean, um, you know, the subterranean network that uh, Hamas relies on to carry out any of its military actions against Israel, whether it is launching rockets or planning operation or even infiltrations when it uses the cross-border channels between uh, the Gaza Strip and Israeli territory. It would be expected that Hamas should take them out, but if, if it, Israel has to do it, then it will have to send soldiers inside the tunnels at great risk in order to, um, to do that and without any guarantee of success. How was Hamas able to construct something so expansive? It, it's a work in progress. It's not something that was dug yesterday. We're talking about almost two decades of, um, of experience, of um, gaining know-how and knowledge into this um, tactic of war, uh, which Hamas has perfected. But it hasn't perfected it alone. It has also gained a lot from the experience in the Syrian war and from the experience of ISIS. We heard from someone uh, from the IDF yesterday who talked about how it's simply a matter of finding the entrance and, and exit and they can just kind of shut it off so that they're, they're basically trapped underground. Would that be problematic or, or they really could, could live underground for weeks? Look, um, it, it, one, um, what you're describing is one way to neutralize tunnels, right? To block the, up, uh, the entrance or the exit, which it can be both. But this is not really a long-term solution for tunnels. In order to fully and completely eliminate tunnels, you need to use water to collapse the tunnels, or you need to use aerial strikes. But yes, they're definitely living inside this network, the, the leaders of, of Hamas. Why? Because they know that the minute they pop out of the ground, Israel is able to identify their, their location, uh, their whereabouts. And so the whole idea is to prevent that. What if any criticism has Hamas faced from the people of Gaza when it comes to the construction of these tunnels? This is an excellent question. A few years ago, there was a brilliant piece in the New York Times which exposed, um, which actually spoke about the fear that Gazans, the population in Gaza experienced. And it was absolutely mind-blowing, the fear that comes with the construction of these tunnels under their homes, which oftentimes they cannot prevent. And then the knowledge that once Israel discovers these tunnels, there will be anti-tunnel strikes or measures that are taken and that their homes will be destroyed. But what was most poignant about this piece was that when you read the testimonies of Gazans talking about the tunnel threat, it sounded like you were hearing about Israeli nationals and how they worry about the tunnel threat. And so what is really unique, what you're, you're basically putting the finger on one very unique feature of tunnels when they are cross-border, right, but also when they are under the population of, a, of, of Gaza, and it is that they really are a major threat to civilians on both sides of the conflict. So helpful to hear all of your knowledge about this. Dr. Daphne Richmond Barak, we really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.